des sapeurs. Mona, who is actually a cancer lab worker in her day job, comes from a politically active Egyptian family. She now focuses on the growing signs of oppression in the aftermath of Egypt's revolution. So you think that the military right now is targeting protesters? Yes, we have evidence of that. It began barely a week after Mubarak stepped down. Mona documents the stories of abuse. One of those stories happened to someone close to her. Uh, Ali Sophie is a very good friend of mine. On March 9th, Ali Sobi, a young actor, had gone to join a demonstration in the square. He heard that the sit-in that was going on for over days in Tahrir Square was being dispersed by army and thugs. And by thugs I mean a plain cloth people who were carrying um, like big sticks. And so he ran to check on his friends. Ali told us what happened. I was taken into the museum off the square and the army cut off all of my hair and then they beat me with different kinds of rods and sticks and they kicked me repeatedly. So they used tasers on you? Yes, they used tasers. They put them on many people. It was going on for several hours. There were more than 150 people in the arrest. Mona helped lead a successful internet campaign, pressuring the military to free Ali. Especially with the army violations and army torture cases, the internet is really sort of our only means. The activists have created the Tahrir Diaries, an online log of testimonies where protesters describe what happened to them. You would see that it's not just that they are getting tortured or beaten up, but there's an element of the army trying to break the revolutionary spirit. In one of the testimonies, uh, they said that the officer told them they won't stop beating them up until they say, long live Mubarak. And for the girls, they lined them up and asked them who is a virgin and who is not. And whoever said she's virgin, they got someone, an officer wearing a white coat, to check whether they are virgins or not with the threat of those who, are, who lied about their virginity would probably face prostitution charges. So, so the girls were forced to take virginity tests? Yes. Yes. We asked to speak to someone from the Egyptian military, but they would only give us a statement denying the allegations. Quote, these cases of torture are false rumors. None of these accounts are true. We are in unstable times in Egypt. There are thugs loose.